today I am here in Karen Deer Park to show you raw and unedited what luxury truly looks like. We are not relying on posh chairs and soft furnishings. I want to show you what a beautiful house looks like at its core. So let's go. When we say that this is a smart home, we truly mean it. And you get that experience straight from the entrance. You can see we have the high-tech security features. You have your camera there, and you can also see that the lock on the door allows for the client to be able to see who's standing at the door. And you think that's a fingerprint sensor so they can actually access the house. That feels like such a seamless way to enter your house, but that is why Fine Urban champions looking into the future and making things simpler and more secure. The door is huge. We have those glass panels, so you're still getting that very very easy feel at the entrance and then you walk in that chandelier is to die for every single time I walk in I have to pause take a look it is so warm so glamorous that glass that gold what more could you ask for in an entrance and then you have it paired with this really big entryway the corridor it has like a streamlined view the tiles are gorgeous the colors delicate soft very very inviting now we have bedroom number one over on this side but what i really want to show you is those unique features that make this house truly special so let's go into the family room the tones change it has like a deeper brown color to it so you're immediately feeling really cozy we have the lights on the wall the party vibes are on the relaxation vibes are on the tv wall is immaculate i love that we have continued with the brown onto this wall as well with the display you can have a big big screen here tons of texture as always things can go boring really quickly so playing around with colors textures and ideas is what makes for a very intriguing tv wall that's not too distracting so we have the texture at the bottom but we also have it at the top now while we are up there this is why i was itching to come into this room look at the ceiling it's not hairy, you guys. It's not a hairy ceiling. These are the fiber optic lights. I am getting like the first looks of what this would actually feel like. Of course, everything is gonna be smoothed out, but I can see those really delicate glittering lights. Right now they're purple and I hear that they're gonna be color changing. So if you guys wanna get the full on experience, make sure that you're subscribed. So next time I come here, we're almost done. We're just waiting for the furniture. We're gonna clean this up real quick, so make sure you're subscribed. But this room, apart from having this out of this world experience, I've never turned on the lights. Um, we also have some more cabinetry over on this side. It is a family room. I always talk about snacks, but also this is a great place to, to just display more of a story of your family. You guys let me know in the comments, what would you use a space like this for? The views in this house have been done in such a way where you're fully getting a 360 experience. There's not a single room you're gonna walk into where the person who would be using that room would not get a glimpse into the natural features outside. So here we have a door where you can access, you can see the greenery, you can see the path, but also you're getting tons of light in here. We have another window looking out to the front as well. You can get a glimpse of the plant life that we meticulously place throughout this property. Now we're gonna go across the corridor and take a look at bedroom number one. I hear this is going to act as the guest bedroom. Nice, lovely door, simple design, but excellently done as always. We have yet another stunning centerpiece in the chandelier. It's complementing a very simple gypsum design that has been done so, so smoothly. And we also have the recess lights dotted to ensure that every corner is well lit. But 
the shining glory of these rooms is the tones that we've selected for the walls and also how we've used like paneling and wainscoting to create like a va va voom experience in each room. So here you can see we've played around with wainscoting. Those little details in the corner are just so stunning. And then also the border all around. And you can see we have balanced it out on either side as well. So you're getting a very regal feel in this room. And then we also have the cabinetry. You can see we have the doors in now. Here you can see the cabinetry nice and tucked away. Everything seems very, very neat. I really appreciate that we've gone for warmer tones for the finishes of the cabinetry as well. Cozy vibes as always. We have more cabinetry over on this side. Ooh, does this peel back? Looks like actually this is gonna be the actual color of the cabinet. So, oh, that is really, really nice. And that really complements what we have on the floor with the original floors of this house, which are wooden, which we're gonna polish up and make sure it feels brand new. This room also does get the views to the front of the house. We have the plant life and then a, a little glimpse of the driveway as well. Okay, now every bedroom also has its own bathroom. We've gone with that really clean aesthetic. We wanted that luxury feel. So thinking marble with these bold gray veins running through it, the playing around with different dimensions when it comes to the tiling, in the shower cubic, on the floors, and then over to the other separated uh, toilet bowl area. I love how they've separated this section, but also I enjoy the fact that we have more storage in here. We have a really, really big vanity area, nice big sink. We're gonna have huge mirrors here, find the appropriate fittings for each and every bathroom. How would I miss this? This room also has access to the outdoor area. This room has one of the most stunning views. I would love to be a guest in this house. Of course, this also provides tons of light in here, gorgeous views. And of course, if you open it all the way up, you're gonna get like a gust of air. Now let's continue on down. Let's follow the tile. Right on this side, we have the common bathroom. I see we've installed a shelf out here. Uh, this would be a great area to have a mirror just to make to check and make sure everything's okay we have the bathroom continuing with the marble feel we're going to have the toilet bowl right over there all the plumbing is done and ready i can see that the paint is down and of course we have enough light to light up this section and also artificial light here as well so going on yeah i just wanna that view you guys you're gonna notice I said, this house, the views are impeccable. They are 360, they are unmatched. So we're gonna catch a glimpse of this. It's gonna be so tempting to go outside, but we will get to it, I promise. But now we're gonna head in this direction. We're gonna go into the home office, and I know a lot of you guys have fallen in love with the space and so have I. So that's why I take, we take so much time to show you these spaces, to see the possibilities of how you can still have a very cozy space that still fits your every desire and every need. This is absolutely stunning. For me, the aesthetics are top tier. I'm looking at the paneling, the use of the paneling all around the top and in between some of the storage areas, the shelving, the balance between open, shelving and closed shelving because not all paperwork looks pleasant you could have like a home library in here there's just so much potential and uh, many different ways and how you can create uh, your own personal experience and we can see that within here i've always said you look out for things like this little these little niches you just know fine urban is going to have a light so there's going to be a lighting element that also adds to the beauty of the space and to the functionality we have a whole wall there of closed cabinetry i'm telling you the client is never going to run out of space to store every new document that comes in and also the gypsum design it is fun it's exciting it's not distracting that's what you need that balance of creating a home office that still feels cozy and personal without it feeling too detached where you can't concentrate on what you're doing. It is perfect and everything of course complements the original floors and this office also does have these double doors that lead outside. This is the same view that we were getting from the family room. We have the grass, we have the plants, and of course the sunshine is showing out today. So we're also getting plenty of sunshine. You can see some of the plants at the entrance. There's just so much for your eyes to feast on. Now heading on back to the corridor, it is leading us to more and more exciting 
places. We have this section here under the staircase where we are going to have some lighting, some plants, just to bring that sense of the outside into the house so everything feels connected. So going on forward, I'm looking at the glass panel that is being installed here on the staircase. We'll take a closer look at that much later. So we can go from the living room into the dining room, into the kitchen. I feel like that's the easiest flow. So this way we will go where we are greeted by yet another door accessing the outside and that exciting masterpiece. But most of all, I'm enjoying that the sun has decided to come out so you can get a really good experience of how this house is so beautifully lit. It's so bright, feels so open, feels so breezy because of all these windows that we have around, inviting all that light in. It is truly magical. But now we are in the living room. Et voila, you cannot not look up. I get sang the praises for our client because our clients have excellent taste. And for this client, they picked out their own lighting fixtures. I am gushing about them and it's, it came from their mind. Oh. I just have to say I really enjoy their taste and it really does fit in with the fine urban brand as well. So this is another gorgeous, gorgeous centerpiece playing around with the crystals and the gold as well. We have to keep that through line for that uniformity. So we have this really, really big space here for the living room. We have more windows on that side and on this side. And then over here, you're getting views to the pool area, the flowers, the grass. It is such a beautiful view. I would be so distracted and not able to watch TV. I just want to be out there. But there's so much more to see. Taking a look at the TV wall, it is incredible in the amount of detail that exists here. Not only do we have a TV wall that features curved edges, those edges have very specifically placed ridges to create that sense of like a paneling on it so on either side it just creates such a subtle and soft feel to the entire room this is one of those houses that really shines when you let the simplicity speak and i think that that tv wall a hundred percent exemplifies and this is where i say you're not able to achieve things like that by simply just going out and purchasing something and trying to make it fit into a space as a company we really value high quality things from scratch and that's why we want to make sure that we're getting materials that are from Kenya and getting talents that are from Kenya so we're able to craft things that actually perfectly fit these houses and that actually also applies into this next space which is the dining room you may have picked up on this but the tiling is very consistent from the entrance leading into the living room and now into the dining is spectacular we have the double volume experience which makes this space feel so so vast we have these huge folding doors looking uh, to the outside but we will get to that i want to talk about how we have taken the same ideas from the tv wall and also implemented them here these are materials that are handpicked by the com company a design that came from the mind of our lead designer and then executed by pure african talent like i just love features like this because i know it will be a great display area and even potentially a storage area now another thing i want to talk about is the selection of the chandelier this is the perfect centerpiece and we'll get to see later on how it also affects the top floor in terms of views and lighting and as i'm looking up there i'm seeing we have more windows you're never going <laughs> to lack light in this house and we also have paneling on this wall and we're gonna we're gonna get up there because i can see there's details like track lights remember this is a smart home we're looking into a lot of like modernizing and also futuristic elements so you'll see things like track lights we have automated curtains there's just very unique features and there's something really really interesting in the kitchen as well which actually let's get into it oh my goodness what a gem look at this i love the color this is a work in progress we're still you know perfecting those edges and just making sure it's very very great we want it to be completely seamless but the color of this the dimension of it the selection of the type of stone that we are using this is amazing it's like that pop of color it has that green to it which i think is 
perfect because this kitchen is situated in a place where you can see the outside as well so there's a sense of like connecting the indoors to the outdoors this is going to be a great place for the family to come together i can envision having a couple of stools on that side and still having plenty of space to work and speaking of counter spaces i can see one in the corner right there looks like we have some markings here means that uh, we might have a, a sink in this section right next to the window and of course cabinetry we are going to ensure that you're still getting that luxury high-end feel the way you get that is the material selection and craftsmanship and making sure that you're leaving enough room luxury can actually come from how you experience the place and not necessarily how you see it but the space that we have in here the selection of the materials it's so well thought out so well designed there's something exciting in this kitchen that plays into how we're modernizing and automating this home and that is the lighting we have these strip lights that we have placed in very particular shelving in this house and sometimes when you walk by they light up so it does it you don't have to go on a switch and be like i need this on or i need it off you simply just walk by it and it'll light up you do whatever you need to do and as soon as you walk away that light is going to go off therefore playing into conserving electricity. We want to conserve energy and we use things like solar panels to ensure that we're using the natural surroundings and using nature to actually be able to facilitate this house glowing and basking in its glory. Now, I am so tempted to step outside. We're going to step outside briefly. I just want to show you guys how the transition from these indoor areas to the outdoor areas is really, really excellently done. The outdoor dining experiences that you could have out here are unmatched. I love that this door is focused more towards the dining and kitchen area to encourage that exact experience. And let me know, you guys, what do you think? What would you use this space for? Because I can see a couple of lounge chairs here, um, a full dining set, it's just perfect. And of course, the views are to die for, absolutely. The grass is thriving, the pool is incredible. I really just wanna get out there, but we still have more to see inside the house before we can come out here. So if you wanna see, if you want to see what the outside looks like, stay tuned. But for now, we're going to head upstairs. Oh, I was so eagerly awaiting this because the steps, I can see there's a lot of work that has already gone into it, making sure that the wood is nice and polished. We're coming to the finishing touches. And of course, the handrail as well is coming in nicely. We didn't want to obstruct any of the views or interrupt any of this open experience. So that's why we've gone with this reinforced glass. The installation is still going on. So I'm going to be super, super careful. I can see we're really making sure that it's really, really in there. And of course, as we are pro, you can see we're not losing any light as we're doing this journey up the stairs. And then you arrive at one of the most spectacular landing areas and get a closer view of that magnificent chandelier that we saw at the entrance. And we can see the continuation of the track lights all throughout the hallway. Ugh. This whole floor just feels magical because of the placement of things. On this side, of course, we have added in the barrier now. We have another great view here, but let's start with the bedrooms over on this side. So this bedroom is super exciting. I remember an idea was pitched last time I was here to have an outdoor shower. And every single time I come here, I see more and more of why that would make sense. But even just as a place to come and lounge and bask in the sun, it is absolutely perfect. We have the continuation of the safety glass over here. The tiling has been done splendidly. We have a nice big window, which is also providing light to the inside of the house. You can catch a glimpse of what's going on in there. And then in here, we have the cabinetry on this side. We can see a couple of drawers. That's a very intriguing texture over there. And then we have more storage on this side and great views to the entrance. Now, the intriguing thing about each room you'll notice is the different hues of lighting. Here I can see we have the track lights in over on this paneling. Looks like some electrical work has been done. So I am anticipating that we're gonna have a really nice warm glow 
within the space between each one of these panels. I love that staggered feel and the fact that I know that the headboard is gonna be on this side, it's gonna create the ultimate relaxing experience in this bedroom. And of course, the color also helps with that vibe. So let's take a look at the bathroom. You will notice as we're going through, the bathrooms have quite a similar feel. We wanted them to have a, a uniform vibe to it. But here, again, more storage, the colors are really subtle, separation of the shower, and the toilet bowl, but as always, everything is perfection, done to absolute perfection. So the bedroom across the hallway has my favorite view. Yo, remember I said, I promised that it's gonna be 360. So over here, you're still getting a view to that water feature down there, still getting your eyes on the greenery as well. I just enjoy that you're getting to see like different levels of that at the different levels you're at in the house. So right now, my eye is really catching the top of that sculpture and the details on those lion heads. I can see the mane, I can see the eyes, I can see the teeth. It is insane the amount of detail that you can notice even from this distance. It is incredible you got oh and roses are those ro roses these look like roses but anyway we're gonna get to that <laughs> so taking a look at the bedroom itself the layout has to be a little bit different but this is the thing that would make me pick this bedroom above any other one and it's this feature here in the corner <gasps> look at this clever use of space Look at that. It's so genius and how it's maximizing the use of such a small corner. And now you could, <laughs> it's a rotating storage shelf. I could literally stand here all day and imagine all the things that I would store in there. Again, that's the magic of customization. You get things that feel that special when you take that extra initiative to go the customizing route. It is amazing. So, so this room also has uh, views to the front of the house. And let's take a look at the headboard. These are the ways that Fine Urban um, uh, comes up with to create unique experiences in every room. No two have been the same, but there are certain elements that are tying them all together something like the use of lighting. You've noticed in each one of them, the placement of the lighting. We have display shelves with recess lights and then we have the center arch with a cove light and then on the other side, we have created symmetry by having more of that recess lighting and those display shelves. I'm actually very curious about the switches because if you know anything about Fine Urban, it's all about the details. The gypsum design here seems like it has been designed to also complement the shape of the chandelier. It's insane the amount of levels that we think on. That means there had to be a very close collaboration between our client and us to know what Type of light fixtures they'd like in which rooms so we could actually build things around that that is truly a magical experience at fine urban we really cherish that trust that we build with our clients and listening to them and being able to create things that are truly for them so that they enjoy their house for years and years and years because it truly feels like it belongs to them we're gonna follow those track lights that were beckoning us and continue following this handrail here we have another view. I think you can get a better look from this angle of what the lions look like. I can see those spouts from their mouths and I can get a closer look at those flowers. Very, very beautifully detailed. And I can still see those ladies that are graciously holding their vases. The entire thing from a top view makes such an impact with all the soft shapes and also the sharper shapes at the bottom. You can just see how that design is so multi-layered, so well considered from the shape of the top bowl to what the, the pedestal the ladies are standing on and then the overall uh, design at the base. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. Now we're getting to the end of the hallway. We're gonna go into this bedroom. Ooh, something intriguing is happening in here. This room has gorgeous views at a different angle at the centerpiece of this home. And of course, I just wanna run and look at the wall. Remember, different designs, but we're playing around with lighting. This one is quite simple, but it still gives this room a unique feel. Now, looking up at the gypsum design, <laughs> y'all know, I love singing about circular designs because it's one of those shapes that seems so simple and yet is so 
difficult to get perfect and somehow our team always knocks it out of the park time and time again and again we have this um, lighting fixture that melts in perfectly those warm lights the design it just makes you feel like okay yeah i can relax and we also have the use of track lighting in this room oh we have a tv wall in here i love that i can i can immediately tie in the living room into this with these rounded edges and the use of having these ridges in there looks like we might have a fireplace but again you could have a really really big tv in a tv wall like this one this bedroom has more storage over there more storage over here this room also has an access to a balcony oh my goodness this is one of those places that i always feel like i might have to, to be pried away from because the views the harmony that you can see we're gonna get a closer look once we get to the other section but i just enjoy that you can see every corner of this property has been well taken care of when it comes to landscaping so let's go back inside we have one more room to see so as we transition you know even our transitional areas have to make a statement while we were downstairs i did point up and say we're going to get a closer look and this is the look i promised you guys so we can see the paneling that has been done here i'm now noticing that we also have track lights up here and of course this gorgeous centerpiece in the chandelier i did say it has a very big impact while we're downstairs but also up here it called to me when we were at the other end and i'm sure that even the lighting will affect this section once it gets darker we also have really really massive windows that's why i was saying this house does not lack when it comes to lighting whether it's natural or artificial it is so wonderfully done i am looking for, for like every nook and cranny this place is magnificent it's simple it's exquisite it's exactly what this house needed the space we've all been waiting for the master bedroom <sighs> there is something that just feels so so good it's the textures it's the colors it's the warmth it's the design it's the space it's everything i'm looking around there's so many things that are so eye-catching but you know what the difference is between when fine urban plays around with different elements and maybe someone else does is it doesn't feel overwhelming our bedrooms have to be some of the most calming spaces that i have experienced as i said it's all those different elements the gentle curves, there's something about how this wall has been designed to have these gentle curves in the center that also kind of eases you into the room. It's so excellently done. And then to pair that with our classic paneling on the side, to add that textural element in a deeper tone that's still so calming, to, it just makes such an impact when it comes to that wall alone that is quite the statement and just when you think we're done you turn around and you have yet another magical experience when it comes to the tv wall calling back to the living room calling back to the room we just saw those soft edges those ridges the display this is calling this is definitely calling back to what we saw in the dining room our houses truly tell a story and it makes me so so happy the clever use of space because this space is so so massive so it means even if our client wanted to get like a custom bed that is huge they could still do that because they have all the room to play around with when it comes to the gypsum very cleanly executed what we're doing up there is letting the chandelier shine and also using those track lights to ensure you can actually set your vibe set your mood as you're coming to uh, to rest to rest you know rest of the, your day so now we have this section another intriguing one if you haven't watched our previous videos you guys i've said this a million times this was an outdoor space this is another space that uh, exemplifies the the duty of an interior designer and someone who truly cares about the projects they're working on it is one of those spaces that you can also feel that fine urban wants the best for our clients that's why you'll give us your space you'll give us your ideas we will listen and then we'll take it a step further and tell you we could actually increase the value of your property we could actually give you more use of your space but we actually truly care about what real estate is in kenya and care about the people who are investing in our country 
working with the team to ensure that we're understanding what do our clients value and what do they want to store. So when you see all the different elements, whether it's hanging areas, folding areas, you know, display areas, <laughs> rotating shelves it's because we have a deep understanding of what the client wants and needs and what they value and of course we've added a skylight to ensure that they can see everything but also it's just a beautiful feature and I love that we've highlighted by highlighted it by using the same type of paneling that we've seen within the room we have a lovely big window here your clothes need to breathe so of course we have a sliding window and the views actually don't hurt at all this would be a fantastic place to get ready and of course the use of lighting as well to ensure whether you're getting ready in the evening or in the morning you're really able to see every element of your wardrobe this one is to die for now we have another space in here of course no master bedroom is complete without a master bathroom to match oh my goodness the chandeliers are insane the warmth of the light, the color, the crystals, it's so consistent. And then your tub is waiting for you, full of warm water. And you're just, oh, you soak it all in. And you thank God for another beautiful day because you actually managed to get your dream home. That, that's the feeling we want to evoke. That's why we take this so seriously. This is such a wonderful space. I love the dimensions of the tub, but this bathroom overall is so well done. All of the, the lights in here are spotlights because you do need to be able to really highlight certain areas. So down this way, you can actually see, continuing with that wooden theme, but this one is very, very, it's like bleached wood. So. You have storage here. Remember what I said while we're downstairs. I don't want all my toiletries and my unnecessaries taking up room in my walk-in closet. This bathroom has so much space for, uh, to do that. The spotlights are really, really helping highlight an area that I know would suffer from having enough light. And then we transition, we have uh, the toilet, would you say water closet? I don't know, that's where you'd have the toilet. Looks like we're gonna have two bowls. Every corner does have nice long windows that are privacy windows because they are frosted over. And then we have the his and her sink. I love that we have this little gap there so it's not like completely separated and you're still transferring light between the two areas we have some more spotlights here I can't wait for the mirrors to come in and everything be set up the counters are gorgeous and then we have the shower cubic looks like we're gonna have a his and hers shower as well so no more fighting in the morning or waiting for someone to finish so you can get in but overall the bathroom is gorgeous it feels very very cozy very very luxurious with the tones and the selection of the materials but this is magical you guys and then just when you thought we were done we're not done quite yet because let's step outside let us step outside and see these views y'all i don't know i don't know what could beat this I don't know what could beat this because we've seen this from the angle downstairs because down there that's where we have the dining kitchen area with a more outdoor dining section and now we've come up here and it's a whole different experience you get a clearer view of the pool of the detailing on the on the wall on the perimeter wall there i can see glimpses of the pool house on the inside i can see the floors i can see the gypsum design there's so much to take in but what i'm really really enjoying now is when it's really hitting me on how we have precisely placed plants. They're dotted around the perimeter wall. I can see even by the sunken lounge area, like there's just a way, even around the pool house area, there's just like little areas where we have really thought out what we are trying to do and really added life to those sections. I can see all along the perimeter wall, different flowers, different colors, different textures. It just makes for an intriguing feel. And I can see that we're gonna have tons of landscape lighting. Now this is the type of grass that would make you want to take your shoes off and frolic. I can imagine so many memories being created here on birthday parties and kids running around and no scraped knees. It just feels wonderful. I can see the beauty and the details that I saw while I was upstairs. I'm appreciating that even at this angle, I can see more plants and it's following us here to the pool house. There's very 
very distinct areas that I can see intentionally were left out just for plant life right by the pool on either side. It's gorgeous. I want to take a moment to just appreciate the greenery because y'all know I always sing about the Going Green Initiative. And the reason I take so much time to talk about these plants, these trees, this grass, is because even in areas that you would not necessarily expect to have as much greenery as you have here, we want to implement that in a way that's still enjoyable and actually adds to the beauty of the property. So I am really like intrigued seeing all the different flower beds and the grass patches and the flowers. It's gorgeous. Now I am at the pool house. The consistency continues on. We have the gorgeous tile here. I love that this one has more of a speckled feel. We create lounge areas with kitchenettes and TVs and seats where people can sit down and do purely nothing else but relax because we all deserve that. And also upstairs, we do have an at-home gym. So it's not just about relaxation only, it's also about taking care of yourself, both mentally and physically. So structures like this, as you know, over the top as they may seem, they actually do function to adding that essence of life to your day to day. Pools have to be one of the things that Fine Urban does best i've seen different shapes i've seen different colors i've seen it with different statues around them but they're always so gorgeous i honestly mean it when i say when you get fine urban to build your dream home you will not want to leave where are you going <laughs> what are you looking for because if you want the resort feel you have it in your own backyard there's so many elements that really just tie in to actually making your house feel like a home. You have every amenity that you could ever dream of. Of course, we have the main section. We also have a shallower section over there for when you just wanna sit in the water, but you don't wanna be doing that doggy paddle. And then we have the side. It is stunning how we think about community. Fine Urban really thinks about how to bring people together. And as I'm sitting here, this is what I'm talking about. Every corner you go to, you're visually interacting with and sometimes even touching plant life all around you. It feels so homely, so welcoming, but we're not done just yet. Right on this side, we have a built-in jacuzzi section in your dream pool. You can see we have the designated grass patch here. I'm sure this is going to be as soft and as lush as what we're seeing there. Right on this section. You know in the family room, when I talked about those fiber optic lights, well that's not the only place that we implemented them. We've also done them here in the pool. This is a feast for the brain. Your brain is going to be calm, you're going to enjoy. It's a feast for the eyes. It is just a luxury experience and that's what we strive for you truly need to get a designer who truly cares and understands what it means to pour love into your home these details will be gorgeously lit up if you look around you'll notice there's a lot of electrical work that has been done so that the landscape lighting glitters gorgeously just as the interior of the house one one of the many things that makes fine urban projects really stand out is that we consider the beauty from all angles as I said, levels on levels. It is insanity the amount of time and care that we pour into these projects so that our clients are consistently getting one of a kind experience. This is, is the DSQ. It's easily accessible from the house. And as we're going through, guys, pick out how we are using pebbles and flowers to actually frame the house and also the DSQ. That's Incredible, 360 experience consistently and constantly. So we're heading to the front of the house, this little fence uh, trellis area. We have these beautiful flowers. We have some pedestal sculptures there that will also be a water feature. I love that texture and that color of it, very, very bold. The juxtaposition between the soft, delicate flowers that are bright and the dark, gritty. It's just, I love it. The placement is perfect and the sounds of running water are going to be absolutely magical. We have the parking over here. There's still plants galore to enjoy even in this section that section of there is also a parking area this is the entrance of the property 
look at this this culture the color of it that chocolatey brown with the with the dark tile there really does make a feature of this entrance the placement is perfect and that is a labor of love when it comes to the statues i will always take the time to say you guys we don't go out and buy these things we go to quarries in kisi again sourcing kenya you know creating employment everywhere that we go and then we transport it all the way to whatever site we need it at in the dimensions that our team needs in order to create magnificent pieces like this and that's why you end up with those one-of-a-kind experiences that i keep talking about so this entrance is spectacular We've talked about the driveways, but look at the plantation, the placement. I keep saying, check out the placement, check out the placement, because it's really, really intriguing how we've gone about it. We have some here, it's very, very welcoming. And then you can see some of the ones that I, I was talking about on the inside of the house that people get to enjoy from their bedrooms. These plants truly do go all around the house. And then of course, <laughs> This is where we began at the grand entrance. And you can see that indoor outdoor experience I was talking about, but visually enjoying. I'm sure even as you're driving in, you can get a glimpse of that chandelier and the magnificence that is this home. So we're gonna go back inside the house so we can get up close and personal with a PS that is the stones of this house. And that is this masterpiece. I mean, you, you're not going to miss it. Oh my goodness. Every time I come here, I'm like, I want to see how many unique details I can notice on each and every lady, on each and every petal, every lion, because there's so much hard work, beautiful work that has gone into this. And I'm so happy that we made sure that this the design of this home ensure that everybody who gets to interact with this home gets to enjoy this piece because it is a labor. It is a labor. Those are four individual unique ladies carrying different pots in different is with different stances, the clothes are kind of, you know, billowing all around them. They have scarves and the hair, the eyes, the nails. And then you get up there and even below that basin, you have more of that uh, vines and the flowers. And then you have the lions and the, oh, it's, it's roses or chrysanthemums. And then you get to the top. This is why I'm so happy you guys got to see it while we were up there because you can actually get to appreciate the amount of work that has gone into those individual lions at the top and even these cuter ones. And you can see every one of them has a spout. So what does that mean? Is it just a sculpture? No, we're fine urban real estate construction and interiors. Of course, we're gonna go above and beyond. Like, of course, we're gonna make this a water feature. So not only are you enjoying it visually, you also get to enjoy it like auditory, right? So even if you can't see it, if you're anywhere in the house, you can't see it, you'll hear the sounds of water and just be like, ah, oh, that beautiful, beautiful sculpture is out there. I can't wait to walk around the house and catch another glimpse of it. It is a powerhouse. It's a masterpiece. It is one of those things that really exemplifies what it means to live a luxurious and fulfilling life. Our channel is dedicated to transparency. We want people to know what is achievable, what is attainable, what is reachable to everyone. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. I wanna hear your favorite part. If there's anything you don't dislike, I wanna hear that too. What do you think of this gorgeous house?